pass is complete.
better. That's better. What type of funny thing in the side of the group? Right now. Covers the fumble. EJ Zanke is sacked on the play. He's pass intended for...
Spas on the ball carry for Hopkinton. Five for Hopkinton. Melendez the ball carry for Hopkinton. Melendez the ball carrier for Hopkinton. First down, Hopkinton. Touchdown, Clark. Beebe kicking the extra point for Hopkinton. The kick is good with 59. <laughs> Melendez the ball carrier for Hopkinton. Tulos on the tackle. Melendez the ball carry for Hopkinton. And his pass is complete to... Scoggle in the ball carrier. Touchdown, Hopkinton. Melendez to hold. Kick is good.
Uh, why don't you give me a countdown and then so you can start too. Or are you rolling up? Good afternoon, fans, and welcome to the Hiller pregame show. I'm here with Coach Dave Hughes on the morning of the Tri Valley League uh, matchup between the Hillers of Hopkinton High School and the Mohawks of Millis High School. Both teams coming into the uh, the game with identical 4 and 1 Tri Valley League records and obviously an important game for both as they uh, wind down towards the end of their season. As you can see, it's pretty quiet here at uh, on the football field, but in a few hours these stands will be filled and the kids will be on the field ready to uh, to do battle. Uh, Dave, welcome. Thank you for taking some time uh, so close to the game to talk to us. My pleasure. Um, Dave, the team obviously has, uh, has done very well this year with an overall 5-2 and two record. You came into the, uh, the season having to replace 16 seniors from last year's Super Bowl team. Uh, can you kind of comment on what your expectations were and uh, how the team has uh, managed to do as well this year? Well, everybody in the league last year lost a lot of plays except for two teams, and that was Westwood and Medway. So the rest of us had to put together an offensive and defensive line and get the kids to gel as quickly as possible minus those two teams. Mm -hmm. Ashland, for example, has only has only has three seniors this year. Last year they had, I believe it was 14. So we lose 16, Ashland loses 14, everybody else lost the same numbers. Medway, I'm sorry, Medfield and uh, Millis. So all, obviously it was, it was going to go into the uh, how hard the kids wanted to work, senior leadership, and, and how well we could we could coach. Yeah. Well, uh, you have uh, eight seniors on the uh, the team this year, so uh, you only will have to look to replacing uh, eight for, for next year. But it seems like your underclassmen have really uh, stepped up and uh, played a major role this year. No, I, I agree with that. Uh, Timmy Perrin and Sammy Sennett and uh, Phil Grass, just to name three, and I hate to lo uh, leave anybody out, but those kids have played well beyond my expectations, and I think well beyond the expectations of the town and all the fans. Uh, that's that's great to see because you, you you know that it's it's very good for their own uh, pride uh, and uh, for the team itself. Uh, game seems to be a lot more wide open than uh, historically we've seen from from Hiller football teams. You have uh, uh, the leading um, receiver in Dave Clark for touchdowns uh, in the Tri Valley, and in Josh Hanna, the leading quarterback for throwing touchdowns. No, they're not only leading the, leading the Tri Valley; they're leading the, all of Division Six, and they're very close to leading uh, all of Ma Eastern Massachusetts. I think Josh Hanna's only down by three touchdowns, uh, but behind some other Division One team. But yeah, it's fun. It's, it is wide open. It's not the you know the typical uh, Hopkins and pound the ball football, and partly because we don't have that that back, and we don't have the experience line and our line is, is is very nifty but they're nifty at cross blocks not at bowling people off the line so we don't have the uh, tailback you anymore so we've gone to the Hannah Clark show and it's worked out very very well well it certainly has been exciting from a fans viewpoint watching the game and I'm sure it's exciting for the kids uh, to be playing this wide open style of football oh uh, well I, I like it too uh, because um, you know like you can't, we, we try to pound every once in a while and we can't do it, but then all of a sudden we're in the end zone. Yeah. And it's all, we're a big play offense this year and uh, it's very enjoyable. Okay. What do you look for in this afternoon's game from Millis? Uh, they uh, have been a program that's had some rough years in the recent past, but you know, historically has had some good teams and seem to be uh, on the rebound. So what are you looking for from them? Millis is a hard nosed football team because they have their coach. Um, certain coaches can coach in certain towns like an like an Ernie Richards can mm -hmm. coach in uh, in Millis and Uxbridge um, but not so much in in Marlboro and uh, Dave Sperandio who is now the present head coach at uh, Millis fits that mold of the Millis with the Millis kids and he's got them to believe in themselves they've gelled uh, right from the get-go he had them in the weight room all winter, and they believe in him and, and, and vice versa. They are a, a running team primarily with the kid num number five, Davidson. He's, he's excellent. And when they have to throw the ball, they have this kid named Mizzuti. Who's a, he's kind of short at quarterback, but he, he'll roll. He's very nifty, and he'll throw to a kid named Matt Maccioni, number nine. So look look to the aerial show when they need it, but if they can run the ball, they'll they'll run the ball. So primarily you'll be facing a, a grounded, grinded out type of, uh, of team, but uh, when they need to throw the pass, they're capable of throwing it. So the kids have to be uh, well aware of that. Yes, and we are. Good, good. 
Dave, uh, l let me uh, just talk in general about the program here. I've been in town for, uh, I think this is my 16th uh, football season, and every year uh, the Hopkinton team, despite the small number of, of kids in the school, have always been a competitive, hard-nosed team. Can you kind of share with the fans, uh, you know, what, what's beyond, behind that? Well, there are many factors that that factor into this uh, this solution, and one being right down to the um, the start of football at the youth level, to the support that the parents give me, the effort that the kids put out day in and day out, week in and week out, and as coaches, um, I've had my share of different coaches over the years and they're all basically fundamental type coaches they re we really uh, stress that tackling and uh, especially tackling and tackling and blocking and um, it's all worked out very well and we have tried to put the right bodies in the right places and that's more evident this year than ever before because you know we've never thrown the ball and, and so therefore we say geez well what are they doing this year why are they doing it differently why is the offense changed it really hasn't changed we're just taking what the kids can do and doing it so it's, it's been a combination of a lot of factors uh, coming together uh, over the years, uh, led by a, a strong uh, and good head coach uh, that's, uh, that's developed this program. And you know, you're to be congratulated, your staff's to be congratulated, and, and the kids, because it really comes down to the kids. Absolutely, I, and I thank you for that. Uh, entirely welcome. Uh, we want to thank you for joining us uh, and taking uh, some precious time away from your pre-game uh, warm-ups here. Uh, we wish you good luck in this afternoon's game. And to kind of wrap things up, we're going to show you uh, the seven seniors who are playing in their last home game uh, today. And with that, we will wrap up uh, this portion of the program. And again, thanks, Dave, and good luck this afternoon. Thank you. Huh? Okay. Already? Okay. You ready? Tell me when to go. 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 Last year we had the Sweet 16 seniors. This year we have the Super 8. Introducing from left to right, Captain Dave Clark, Captain Dave Melendez, Mike Beatty, Brian Birdzell, and Jason Gabriel. Uh, okay, providing the vocal support for the football team at all these games is the Hopkinton High Cheerleading Squad. Josh Nelson. You're all set. Okay, girls, go ahead. <laughs> Providing the vocal support for the Hiller football team is the Hill Hiller cheerleading squad. Hiller spirit. Second and nine for the green. 